In a cathedral in Turin, Italy, lies a relic that has sparked debate, devotion, and disbelief for centuries. The Shroud of Turin, a simple linen cloth bearing the faint image of a crucified man. Many believe this is the burial shroud of Jesus Christ himself. Others call it the greatest hoax in religious history. The Shroud of Turin is a centuries-old linen cloth that bears the faint image of a man who appears to have been crucified, and it has long been regarded by many as the burial cloth of Jesus Christ. It is named after the city of Turin, Italy, where it has been housed in the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist since 1578. The Shroud has been one of the most studied and debated religious artifacts in history, captivating scientists, historians, religious scholars and skeptics alike. The Shroud of Turin is about 14 feet long and three and a half feet wide, bearing a faint front and back image of a man with markings consistent with scourging, beating and crucifixion, similar to the accounts of Jesus' death in the New Testament. The figure's wounds include nail marks on the wrists and feet, a side wound, and what appear to be puncture marks on the forehead and scalp, which many interpret as a crown of thorns. These details have led some to believe that the shroud may indeed be Christ's burial cloth. The image on the shroud is unique in its appearance. It has a three-dimensional quality that has puzzled scientists. Unlike painted or drawn images, the shroud's image is superficial, affecting only the top microfibers of the cloth and lacking pigment or any substances commonly used in artwork. The origin of the Shroud of Turin is unclear, and its history prior to the 14th century is debated. The first documented appearance was in 1354 in Lire, France, when it was displayed by a French knight, Geoffroy de Charny. It later passed to the House of Savoy and eventually came to Turin, where it has been kept for centuries. Although some historical references mention burial cloths or relics linked to Jesus, it is not definitively known if these refer to the Shroud in Turin. The provenance of the Shroud has been questioned because of this lack of evidence and because it only surfaced in documented history in the 1300s. Some critics argue it may be a medieval artifact created as a religious relic, given the popularity of such items during that period. The Shroud of Turin has been extensively studied since the 20th century, especially after a high-resolution photograph taken in 1898 revealed a surprising feature. The image on the cloth appears more detailed in photographic negative than in positive, sparking further interest. This characteristic gave rise to speculation that it might have been created in an unusual or miraculous manner. In 1988, a sample of the shroud was carbon dated by laboratories in Oxford, Zurich and Tucson. The tests indicated a date range of 1260 to 1390 AD, suggesting the cloth originated in the Middle Ages and could not be the authentic burial cloth of Jesus. However, critics of this test argue that the sample might have been contaminated by centuries of handling, exposure to smoke from fires and possible repairs, thus affecting the dating accuracy. Other methods, including examination of the bloodstains, pollen analysis, and studies of the cloth's weave have also been conducted, but the findings remain inconclusive. The Shroud of Turin attracts people with varying interpretations. One, religious perspective. Many Christians, particularly in the Catholic Church, see the Shroud as a holy relic, potentially the genuine burial shroud of Jesus. Some consider it a tangible connection to Christ, inspiring veneration and pilgrimage. Two, scientific and skeptical perspective. Many scientists remain skeptical of the Shroud's authenticity as the burial cloth of Jesus, citing the 14th century carbon dating results and the lack of evidence tying it definitively to ancient Judea. Some suggest it may be a medieval creation, possibly crafted as a religious artifact or relic. Three, mystical and supernatural theories. Some researchers and theorists believe the image could have been created by a supernatural event, such as the resurrection, which might have produced an intense burst of energy that left the image on the cloth. Others argue for a less miraculous but still unexplained phenomenon involving chemical or radiation-based processes. 4. Artistic Creation Theory Some propose that the shroud was created by an unknown medieval artist who may have used early photographic techniques or an ingenious method to create the image. 
However, this theory remains speculative due to the unique qualities of the image and the fact that no materials typical of painting or dyeing have been found. The Shroud of Turin continues to be displayed periodically, drawing large crowds of pilgrims, researchers, and the curious alike. The Catholic Church has never declared it an authentic relic, instead considering it a powerful symbol of Christ's passion. Pope John Paul II referred to it as a mirror of the gospel, emphasizing its spiritual significance over scientific proof of authenticity. The Shroud of Turin remains a profound mystery, inspiring devotion, debate, and scientific inquiry. Whether viewed as a medieval artifact, a miraculous relic, or a misunderstood piece of history, the Shroud continues to challenge the boundaries of faith and reason.